So I'm not sure how this is going to come out because I'm looking into the sun. But I had a buddy of mine that does the landscape maintenance, this office complex that has neglected this retention area by his own admission. As you can see by the... I mean, this one's got a three, three and a half inch caliper on it. If you can see that or not. There's plenty of one and two inch caliper trees in here, saplings. A lot of oaks. Looks like most of myrtle and water oaks. Oh, yep, yeah, there's the muck. I'm standing in some... Yeah, that's very squishy. Oh, then you got a bunch of Brazilian pepper trees and some mulberries. I'm not sure what that one is. Yeah, back through the muck. Grasses, a lot of weeds. Lots of saplings. Especially in this corner. So the center of this is pretty mucky. There's a Brazilian pepper right there. That's an invasive species here. Chokes out mangroves. Some more. Yeah, these things are noxious. Just vicious little weeds. They grow amazingly quickly. That's some palmettos. Yeah, we have an evergreen in here. Not sure if that's a cedar or what. I'm going to leave that. I like those trees. <laughs> If he wants it down, he can he can cut it down himself. But anyway, so there's the back corner. It opens up fewer saplings. Other than again, there's still plenty of Brazilian peppers up here in the firm. This is really really moist in here. I don't, there's no standing water that I can tell, but it's pretty mucky. And then it turns down here. I mean, there's still Brazilian peppers in here. More Brazilian pepper trees. Another cedar up there. Just I assume it's a cedar. There's a pine tree. It starts to get a little drier here. Yeah, all kinds of palmettos, more Brazilian pepper trees. Stick of more trees. We've got limbs hanging way down. And we say we let it go. He wasn't kidding. More mulberries and other stuff. Some nice flowers. <laughs> More low hanging limbs. It makes another turn, comes all the way down here. Then there's more palmettos. Down in there is again damp, but it's not standing water at the moment. We have a rain coming at the end of the week, so if he gives me the okay on this, I gotta get it done pretty quickly. See, it's, it's moist, but not wet, which is good. I mean, we had a good rain Saturday night, Sunday. It doesn't look too bad. So I'm not sure how I'm going to film this, if I'm going to film it. First, I got to get a price to them and have them say yes or no. All righty. Keep you updated.
Not sure where I lost you. We got this embankment done. Okay, check this side down there. There's one tree down there. Probably can't see it with the glare. It's right there ish. At the, uh, it's just too big. That's the first one we hit. It's a double. About two and a half on one and three on the other. The caliper. First one I've not been able to take down here. So, see all the stuff we are. Like I said, didn't have the camera today. I had the phone and it fell off of, uh, I had to sit on a fence. It fell off the fence. I tried holding it while doing some of it. Probably not the best footage, but I'm gonna see what I can use. But either way, I did walk this before and here's the after. All we did was take the altos to it. I didn't line trim anything. So the stuff behind the trees here where the machine can't fit, doesn't get cut around the trees, no line trimming. These two Brazilian peppers, I was able to knock them over with the uh, machine and cut them, but not, I didn't want to come back over there and try to mulch them up. Guy that hired me doesn't care. He actually does the maintenance for the property this retention area or detention area belongs to. So he said he'd come back in here and clean up anything that was in need of being cleaned up. So in the initial walkthrough, the grass was so tall, tall, excuse me, couldn't see anything in the ground. So this is just a pot, nothing big there, didn't hit it. But up ahead, you'll see a couple of areas that I did not notice when I walked through. Thankfully, I saw them before they became an issue. But yeah, the machine, it's a beast. It took down all those saplings. Like I said, the only ones it couldn't get to were these Brazilian peppers here, and they're three plus inches at the base. I don't know if you can see that guy. He's like three inches at the base. And that one is a double. Again, not sure how well it's gonna show up with the glare, but it's a double two inch and three inch at the base. And just couldn't get a good, good angle at it. So it stays. But all the Sable palms and cabbage palms, no problem with them. Elderberries, most of the Brazilian peppers, a lot of oak suckers, a couple of magnolia suckers. The biggest nightmare, and again, maybe it'll show up, is all these vines where stuff is just hanging. Even after you cut it, this is just hanging. And these vines that have just been let go. See there, that's, that's cut. It's just hanging off the tree. Again, sorry for the blurry. It's just uh, using the phone. There's another area where, again, the machine doesn't fit behind the trees and the fence, so it didn't get cut. As far as how wet or dry this is, it's pretty dry. You see right in here. It's a little moisture, not much. I did manage to mostly avoid that soccer ball. The other one I did avoid. Actually, when I threw that at the fence, might be when the camera fell. <laughs> so, sorry, I have an old allergy thing going on in here. So here you can see it's a little wet. And that's because there's a culvert right there that was full of Brazilian peppers. So I did not see it. Sorry, I did not see that until, thankfully I was up on this embankment up here and just happened to catch a glimpse of the concrete. So thankfully I was able to move around that and not fall into it. I don't think I would have gotten stuck there, but if I dropped the front tire in there, I would have probably hit the concrete with the, the blades. And this culvert here, this one I didn't see, came over the edge and it is wet there. It's the only place where I had a little, little pucker moment. Thankfully it didn't get stuck. If I got stuck, I guess I could have got the grandstand in here and winched it out again, but it wouldn't have been fun. <laughs> so thankfully that didn't happen. I'm gonna close this gate up and stop filming. There's something dead behind that fence. It stinks. See you guys tomorrow.